These are a few of the snapshots of the fun to come on today's episode of Great Day Louisiana. I want to say hello to everybody and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm your host Malik Mingo coming to you from a boat here on the Sabine River. If you can't tell by now, it is time for another One Tank Trip sponsored by AAA. Today we are taking you to DeSoto Parish. We hopped on I-10 West to I-49 and drove until we got to DeSoto, which is right at the Texas State Line. This area is a part of Sportsman's Paradise, but it's also known as no man's land and look as you all just saw moments ago there is a lot to do here in DeSoto Parish we are so excited to head to our first location we're gonna dock this boat and let's go check out where we're headed to it's no secret we love our adult libations on Great Day Louisiana and when we heard about this attraction we had to check it out y'all we're at a vineyard the name of it is Kickapoo Twist Winery and Vineyard and it's located here in Gloucester Louisiana they serve custom wine blends using the grapes grown right here on the property and look everybody before we taste it we have to start where it all starts here on the vineyard and joining out for a conversation is the owner of the winery and vineyard Mr. Ed Jordan hello my good sir hello Good Thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations. My goodness, we are at a winery, like I mentioned, everybody. And I want to first ask you this, my good sir, as we walk down this vineyard, what inspired the name Kickapoo Twist? Well, we live in Kickapoo, and in uh, 16, we had a tornado come mm. right, up, right up the driveway and hit the trees and hit our house and that sort of thing. And um, so Kickapoo Twister, Kickapoo Twist, so we have a tornado and a rooster, uh, and I just like roosters. So that's that's what our label is. There's a rooster and a tornado and Kickapoo Twist. I love it. it. It's so smart. And as you all can see, so many different options here. What are the varieties of grapes that you grow here at the well, vineyard? Primarily we have a Crimson Cabernet, which is a, a hybrid. It's a Cabernet crossed on a Norton out of which out of Virginia. It's uh, developed and uh, the, the breeder was in Indiana and wow. I bought I have nearly an acre of that. We also have a white grape called a Blanc du Bois and it makes a very nice uh, pineapple-y. It's just a mm. real luscious, sweet white wine. And how long does it take for you to grow these grapes? Well, they, it takes five years for them to really get to where they can produce like they're supposed to do. I love it. Well, look, are y'all thirsty, everybody? Look, we're going to keep walking because I think it's time for a glass of wine. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's head inside. Joining me now is Tracy Jordan. She is a co-owner of Kickapoo Twist Winery and Vineyard, and she's also Ed's wife. How are you, darling? Hi, how are you? I am doing good. Now that we have a wine flight in front of us, let's cheers, my darling. Congratulations. Cheers. What are we sipping on right here? Blanc de Bois. Mmm. This is a white? Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. My, my favorite. Why? Just the flavor. It tastes just like the grapes to do, and you, you taste uh, just the, almost a floral, uh, just a nice, sweet, balanced It's wine. so true. I've had three sips already. Look, we got three more to go, everybody. Let's talk about this second one right here. What is this one? This is a grape that we grow. It's called the Crimson Cabernet. Mm. And, and this is our 2022 vintage. It is delicious. It is so good. And again, grapes grown right here in Kickapoo, the community, of course, that's the name of this place. This one right here, what do we got? This is blueberry. This comes from a local blueberry farm. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. And you all have over 15 different types of wines, which is amazing, everybody. How long would you say it takes for you all to make a bottle of wine? Well, it, it starts with the process of picking the grapes in the summertime, mm -hmm. and uh, then we have to press and crush and then bottle. Everything's yeah. custom done here. And I love the bottle. The logo is absolutely amazing, as well as these flights. We have one more right here. What is this one? This is our Muscadon. It's uh, called Rosie. Ooh, Rosie, okay. Mm. Ooh, and nice it's on the sweet, sweet side. Mm -hmm. Yes, so good. And you all do classes here. And notice, everybody, if you take a class, you can also get a charcuterie board. Yes, uh-huh. It is amazing what you all are doing here. Cheers, my darling, to Cheers. you and your husband. Again, Kickapoo Twist Vineyard and Winery is the name of the spot. Everybody, they are open on Saturdays. And if you want to pick up a bottle, which is very affordable, by the way, you have to come and check 
them out. Now look, everybody, stay right there because we're actually gonna keep this one take trip rolling and head over to our next spot. Let's go. There is so much more to explore here in DeSoto Parish from outdoor activities on land and water to amazing food. You can do it all while experiencing the area's rural charm and hospitality. Join me now with more on why we all need to visit DeSoto Parish is the director of the Mansfield Female College Museum, which is where we are right now. Please help me welcome Mr. Van Reach. Hello, my good sir. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. This museum is amazing. Honestly, the whole parish is amazing. I just had a glass of wine so it is going to be a good time everybody That's right. you know I love the Soto Parish because it's made up of so many different towns and villages but this area is actually a part of no man's land where does that name come from because I see people well just at our border where the Sabine River is between Texas and Louisiana was a strip of land that both Spain and France claimed and it wasn't until the United States bought the, the uh, Louisiana Purchase that it was settled. So there was no government, no armies, and all the bad guys came to no man's land. Wow. There was no place to be. Come on, but it, it really is a place to rusty be. place. So interesting because, you know, at one point, the Soto Parish was known for many different industries. The lumber industry, a lot of other manufacturing jobs, the traders came here. But today, it's really known for the paper industry. Tell right. me a little bit about the Soto Parish and that industry today. Well, uh, back in the mid-60s when International Paper came, they were looking for some terrain that would drain away from any populated areas. And where they located the mill, the terrain drains down to the to the Red River. Fascinating. So they, they did all those studies and built a huge plant back in the mid-60s, and it's still one of the top producers. It does corrugated boxes and stuff like that. It doesn't do paper, it does cardboard. Wow. Which is, uh, they, they spit out a lot of it. Fascinating, you know everybody, what's also fascinating is that when you come out to the Soto Parish right here in Mansfield, this museum, absolutely amazing. You have to come and check it out. Everybody, it was the first Women's Institute of Higher Learning west of the Mississippi River. I gotta ask you this first, Van, since you are the director, why did they choose Mansfield for this historical college? Well, there was already a finishing school here, kind of like a high school for young girls, right on these 10 acres on top of this hill. And the Methodist Church was building our current Methodist Church about the mid 80s, 1800s. And they said, well, look, over here we have a, a finishing school already. Let's do a, like a college to teach young women to be teachers. Yeah. And that was their mission. But it expanded where they had fine arts, higher math, crafts, all kind of stuff, as well as the normal college to teach young children, young ladies to teach young children. It is a fascinating museum, everybody, because there are so many different rooms you get to go into. What I love the most is that there's a lot of memorabilia from the actual students here. Let's talk about some of that. Well, we have an old spinning wheel from the 1830s. We have a standing grand piano mid circa 1850s. We have uh, Civil War memorabilia, uh, an authentic surgeon's kit, a uh, cap and ball rifle and pistol, uh, a ghost. We have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> so many different things. You can see the degrees, you can see their college rings, you can even see what they wore and what their residence halls look like. Absolutely amazing. You know, once again, this is located right here in DeSoto Parish, but people maybe get confused sometimes on what DeSoto Parish is named after. What is DeSoto Parish named after? Well, a lot of people think the explorer, Fernando DeSoto, it's actually Leon DeSoto, who was a, a Spanish cattleman that came here. And he had one of the biggest cattle spreads in this area. And uh, they named after he and his descendants. Wow, it is such a fascinating story, everybody. A fascinating parish overall. I want to thank you, Van, for joining us You're today. Really Shout out to Mansfield. And look, if you want more information about the Mansfield Female College Museum or just planning your trip to DeSoto Parish in general, you can head over to the website on your screen. It is discoveredesoto.com. You can also call 318-872-1177. All that information is also on the state's Office of Tourism website, which is louisianatravel.com. 
look, don't go anywhere, everybody, because we are just getting started on our one tank trip to DeSoto Parish. We have something special for our history buffs. See where you can experience living history events and battle reenactments during the unrest of the Civil War. Plus, you can enjoy this gorgeous view while walking, fishing, or dining along the Sabine River. Hear more about this vibrant area. And a little sweetness is coming mm -hmm. from the gravy. That's a marsala. Mm -hmm. so. Delicious. Hey, marsala, we like you, girl. Yes, Stick with us, everybody. You're watching Great Day, Louisiana. I had to go to the hospital after my car wreck. I seriously hurt my neck and thought it would affect me the rest of my life. Brenda had to have neck surgery. She made that one call and we got her $390,000. One call, that's all. The story of a country line dancer who gave her pain the boot. This is Shelly. Once I start dancing, I forget where I am. So what was tripping her up? Foot pain, knee pain, and back pain. Then she got fitted for Good Feet Arch Supports. It was magical. I knew, oh my gosh, this is what I need to stay on the dance floor. And stay there, Shelly does. That's my happy place. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Step in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds. And checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, including ones you may miss, and alerts you if there's an issue. And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds. I know LifeLock has me covered. LifeLock. Identity theft protection starts here. Call the number on your screen or visit lifelock.com slash 25 now and use promo code 25 now to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. Everything must go during the liquidation tent sale at Mattress Direct. Queens starting at $200 and twins only $99. Save up to $300 on Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and & Foster and get a 14-inch hybrid mattress plus a free power base. Only $9.99. Mattress Direct. Some things are even tougher than they look. And if you don't know what you're doing, you could get in over your head. And that ain't pretty. You can make a bad situation even worse. Mm. Maybe get hurt in the process. After an accident, don't do it yourself. Demand Dudley DeBosier. And let us do what we do best. 444 444 Just don't ask us to try any synchronized swimming. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us for the Eyewitness Morning News. Let's get straight to our local weather expert, Peyton Malone. Hey, good morning, Eric. The clouds are rolling in. You will want your umbrella by this afternoon. And make sure you give yourself some extra time on the roof today. Leslie, we're coming out to breaking news. And we have breaking news out of Jefferson Parish. Let's send it out to our crew on the scene. Leslie, I'm still here at 18th and Severn, where you can see crews are still working in the area. This morning, I've got your recipe. Tune in weekdays from 430 to 9 on WWL-TV. We have an, uh, a culture where we're just hometown people that welcome people into the town. It's such a nice, quaint little town. It's a country town where people can come, enjoy themselves, walking up and down the sidewalks, uh, visiting the antique stores. We have restaurants here where you can get anywhere from a, a, just a hamburger to a, a ribeye steak, catfish, whatever your heart desires. It's here in Logansport. While Logansport may be a small town on the Texas state line, it's big on tourism. Did you know that it's the center of recreation on the scenic and serene Sabine River? And guess what, everybody? We are out here on the Sabine River. And join me now for a conversation on what we can do out on these waters is the wonderful Jenna Barber. She is a jackpot host with the annual Barber Sand Bass Jackpot. Hello, darling. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us. Look at us. We're on a boat. What We're a better moving. place to be. All we need is some poles to catch some fish. <laughs> am I right? 
Absolutely. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. And I can't believe we're on the Sabine River right now. This is my first time here. What can you tell us about this river? Well, I can tell you quite a bit. Um, my sister and my family and I actually grew up on this river. Um, we actually fished up in this, what we call a slough, um, for the most part of our first years of our life. Um, and there are quite a few different species of fish to catch in this river. And right now, the hot fish to catch is the sand bass. It's yes. actually a white bass. You can catch them by the boatload with kids. People come out and enjoy the day and just catch them by the hundreds. And this is a long river, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. It runs from Toledo Bend way north. It actually feeds in <laughs> from the Tewakonee up to in Tyler area. And um, Logansport is the self-proclaimed sand bass capital. And um, we are where Toledo Bend begins. Come on. And you know, speaking of sand bass, you are actually hosting an event right here on these waters every year. Yes. Tell me all about this jackpot. Well, we actually elected to host the jackpot pot after we lost our dad the um, chamber decided not to do it the following year so my sister and I elected to do it in uh, 2019 we took it over we enjoy seeing people come out and fish and make memories that's what it's all about we actually host it right here at Garrett's Park and we had a record year in 2023 52, 52 teams actually but uh, we just love putting people on the fish and seeing them make memories and what does the event look like are we supposed to catch a certain number of fish every yes year? yes it's a five fish stringer we weigh in one big fish for the big bass. We actually paid $2,400 for that spot this year. One fish, one one person, $2,400. Come on, you can win some <laughs> money and get Make some memories. fish. Well, look, Absolutely. Jen, I want to thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. And look, this jackpot is just one of the events that they hold here in Logan Sport. Let's go meet up with the mayor and learn a little bit more about some of the annual events. Take a look. My name is Mayor Judge Cordray. Um, I've been in the mayor for the last going on eight years, and I've lived in Logan Sport for the last 60 years. The river, as you can see here, that's our major tourism to bring people into Logan Sport. We, uh, the river brings fishermen, they bring boaters, they bring hunters, and all of that. From uh, early spring to, to late fall, the river is uh, full of boats, the skiing, all types of water pleasures and everything. Fishing is all year long. We have some of the best fishing that you'll find in DeSoto Parish, right up in the channel of the river. Then we get into the hunting season. That's October, November, and December. And we are very blessed with the game to be hunt in, the, in our area. Deer, squirrels, ducks, even hogs, the wild hogs. Those are the four things that is a major uh, attraction to hunters. Logansport is a small country town, as y'all can see, but we have big city events. We have our Easter. We have a, a helicopter that comes in and drops all the Easter eggs for the kids, and they do that right here on the park. Our Christmas festival is one of the biggest that we have. It lasts two months, November and December. And the, the people that put it on, they went all out in uh, decorating the town. All the riverfront, all of this area, downtown, the water tower, the bridges, everything was all lights. We had millions of lights. And it was fixed up where people could drive through and see all the lighting or they could park and walk through. And all that is free. No, no charge for it at all. If there's one thing we love to do on a trip is enjoy a good meal. For our next stop here in DeSoto Parish, we are checking out a restaurant that calls itself a bit of the South meets your mouth. Okay, this is Big Zach's place located in downtown Logansport. And join me now for a conversation is Mr. Zach Bozier. But we're going to call him Big Zach because he owns the place. Hello, my good hey, sir. Hey, how are you doing? I am doing good. Super good. excited to be here, everybody. You see all this good food on the table? We eating fancy today. Yes, Thank you so much for having us. Love your restaurant. It's actually in a building that was built in 1917. For people who have not had the chance to visit this place yet, how do you describe the food here at Big Zach's Place? Oh, uh, we, we we try to have a little bit of everything for everybody. You know, we go from uh, from simple to a little more elaborate. You know, uh, try to 
meet all taste buds. Yes, and you can tell you are doing that with so many different selections here. Yes. First, I want to start with this beauty right here. I see fish, but it has a whole bunch of other stuff on it. What is yes, this sir. dish and what's in it? That is a, uh, that's what we call our Big Zach Stacker. Mm. That is a black and catfish with our homemade crab cakes and our lemon butter sauce over the top. Oh my goodness! Delicious, lots of course of fresh local seafood. Now yep. what's your secret to the crab cake? Because it's That's delicious. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. There's four ingredients in that crab cake. And it's lump crab meat, everybody. Yes, you can sir. taste it for sure. For yes, the non-seafood lovers, you have this beautiful steak right yes, here. Sir. Tell me about That's this. That's a 14 ounce hand cut ribeye cut in our kitchen. Uh, certified Angus beef, 28 day age. Delicious. I love it. And of course, it's cooked to order. It, yes, sir. Everything's cooked to order. I can smell this bread on the table yes, and sir. notice everybody it comes with several of the dishes. What is this bread that, right that's here? That's a sourdough bread that we make here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Delicious. Now, this right here is Instagrammable. What is this right here? Okay, that's a uh, what we call a filet marsala. Mm. It's, it's a... Uh, it's an eight ounce hand cut filet mignon sitting on a bed of homemade mashed potatoes okay. with our homemade marsala sauce and, and two fried shrimp just to top it off and kind of a garnish, a little extra. A little sweetness is coming mm -hmm. from the gravy? That's a marsala. Mm -hmm. so. Delicious. Hey, marsala, we like you, girl. Yes, sir. I see we have a lot of fish over here. We yes, have sir. a fried catfish, which you all are known for. Yes, Good sir. for you. Yes, but sir. what is this right here? That's, a, that's our black and mahi mahi mm -hmm. with our, with a, Top with a little lemon butter sauce on it. The seasoning, everything. Yes, sir. Delicious. Now, everybody knows when they watch this show, I love bread pudding. It is mm -hmm. my favorite dessert. And you all offer it here. Yes, Tell sir. Tell me about your recipe. Uh, that's just uh, it's a recipe that was my mom's from, from forever ago. And uh, we just kind of followed it and stick with hers. And melts in your mouth. Thank what you, is this topping right here? That's a secret. Oh, come that's, on, that's Zach! Secret. Okay, we'll that's keep it a secret. It is absolutely delicious. Everybody, yes, not only when you come here, he has a full bar. Check out some of his signature cocktails as well. But I noticed you have a little bit of a store. You sell these different jars of things. Yes, Tell sir. me about those offerings. That's uh, just some uh, old nostalgia type jellies, uh, pickled things, uh, chow chow, uh, Homemade pickled eggs, pickled quail eggs. Yeah, and it was all you know? made for Big Zach's It place. is, it is. Congrats yes, to you sir. on that. And you're celebrating 10 years in May? May the 6th will be 10 years. How does it feel? You're a Logansport native doing big things in downtown. I, I just appreciate the blessings I've had over the years and people that supported me. Yes, you know? well, I appreciate the blessing of this food, everybody. It is delicious. Big Zach, congratulations on 10 yes, years. Thank, Thank you so much for joining us today. And look, everybody, for more information about all the things this area your office, you can head over to the DeSoto Parish Tourism Commission website, which is discoveredesoto.com. This information is also available on the state's tourism website, which is louisianatravel.com. Now look, don't go anywhere because we have a lot coming up on Great Day Louisiana. It's time to eat more in Logansport. The seasoning is great. It's got a little spice to it as well. Definitely a winner. And we'll take you to a Cajun meat market. Stick with us. Great Day Louisiana. We'll be right back from DeSoto Parish. Attention, Hurricane Laura and Ida homeowners who are clients of the McClenny Mosley Law Firm and Apex Roofing. This law firm is being investigated for fraud by the Louisiana Department of Insurance. Call the attorneys you know and trust at Morris Bart to take over your case. Seniors are overpaying for life insurance, sometimes more than twice the monthly rate of what they could be paying. If you've bought a guaranteed acceptance plan, please pay close attention. A 60-year-old male pays almost $90 a month for less than $11,000 in coverage with a guaranteed acceptance plan. But Senior Life Insurance Company qualified him for $11,000 in whole life protection for less than $48 a month. That cut his monthly life insurance rate in half and saved him over $500 a year. 
A 75-year-old female could save over $50 a month for more coverage by switching to Senior Life. That's a savings of over $600 a year. Call Senior Life now to compare your current policy and see how we could save you hundreds of dollars a year on your life insurance. We might even be able to help you get money back on your current overpriced policy. Stop overpaying for your life insurance. Call Senior Life Insurance Company now for your free quote. This is an advertisement by a paid non-attorney spokesperson. Attention, if you or a loved one have been exposed to asbestos and were diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. $30 billion has been set aside for victims and their families. Barron and Bud has more than 40 years of experience fighting for mesothelioma and lung cancer patients. With offices in Baton Rouge and New Orleans, our attorneys are honored to represent mesothelioma patients and their families across the state. Contact us today at MesoLA.com or give us a call for a free consultation. We can come to you or set up a virtual meeting. There's no out-of-pocket cost to you or your family. Call to discuss your potential case and the compensation you and your family may be owed. Act quickly because there are deadlines to file your claim. Go to MesoLA.com or call 504-565-2484. That's 504-565-2484. Attorney advertisement for Burton LeBlanc. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Whoa. That's our boy. So proud. Get two breakfast babes for $4.49 when you mix and match at any size iced coffee for $1.79. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. My car wreck happened when I was unexpectedly rear-ended. I realized that my back injuries were pretty severe and I started thinking to myself, how am I gonna afford this on my own? So the day that I chose to call Dudley DeBosier, I immediately felt at ease because they promised me that they would take care of everything. And the main thing that they told me was worry about you and getting better and we're gonna handle everything else. I'm Corey and I'm an actual client of Dudley DeBosier. Whether they are boiled, fried, or etouffee, you're sure to find a crawfish dish at our next stop. This is the Crawfish Shack. It's located in Logansport, which is a part of DeSoto Parish here in Northwest Louisiana. Baby, I hope you all are hungry because we are about to get a sample of the menu with our next guest. Please help me welcome Mr. Keith Angel. He is one of the owners of the Crawfish Shack. Hello, my good sir. How are you doing? I am doing good. Thank you so much for having us. Logansport, what's up? We are so happy to be here. Here. And first, I want to congratulate you all. You know, we were talking before the segment started, and this entire idea for you all actually started as a mobile truck, and now you have a brick and mortar location. Tell us a little bit about that story and how you all got started. We started doing crawfish and shrimp and trailers actually uh, nine years ago, and we just kept building and building and building till. Two years ago, we decided to complete the restaurant and open it full time. Amazing, and everybody, when you look around, a lot of this building was built by this man right here. Shout out to you, yes. and shout out to the co-owner, Cynthia, as well, because you all came up with these amazing recipes, and of course, we have to first start with the star of the show, you all's crawfish. Tell me a little bit about you all's boil. Where do you get your crawfish from? We get our crawfish from the rice ponds in Eunice, Louisiana. The seasoning is so unique on this. Tell me about it. I like it. The seasoning is a special seasoning we have made just for our crawfish. It is delicious, everybody. About how many pounds would you say you all go through in a day? Some last Saturday, I think we went through 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. The seasoning is great. It's got a little spice to it as well. Definitely a winner. And you know, I was talking to Cynthia earlier, and she said that one of her favorite things on the menu is you all's fried fish and shrimp. Ah, is that this right here? Yes, it is. Tell me about this. We get all seafood from the wholesalers, mm -hmm. and uh, our fish and shrimp, and the batter is a special batter we make for our fish and shrimp. The shrimp is fantastic. And what is this sauce right here? That's a shack sauce. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little it's bit made, about it? It's made with ketchup and mayo, and we got a special seasoning we put in it. So good, everybody. Now, for the non-seafood lovers, I don't know any, but for those who don't necessarily like seafood, you all offer this club sandwich right here. Yes, What's sir. on your club sandwich? The lettuce, tomatoes, turkey, ham, and bacon. 
delicious. I must try everybody. Look how good it looks. But those homemade onion rings, homemade oh onion my ring. goodness, I have to grab one. And while I do, I see you all offer different appetizers as well. Is that a meat pie? Meat pie. Mm. Food and balls and fried crawfish chips. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This onion ring, delicious. Now, not only can you get great seafood and of course some other dishes here. Hello everybody, snow cones, snowball season is here. You all sell snow cones. This is tiger's blood. Can you pass that to me please, my good sir? I'm a little thirsty. And tell me about what your favorite flavor is. My strawberry and cream. Why is it your favorite? I love strawberry. Come on, this is Tiger's Blood, everybody, which tastes like strawberry. Absolutely delicious. Now look, everybody, I am not the only one who loves eating this great food. We actually have some testimonials from some locals right here in Logansport. Let's see what they have to say. My name is Mary Mack Thompson, and I'm a longtime resident of Logansport. We were so excited when we found out that the Crawfish Shack was going to uh, build and have this restaurant right here on the river. They need to come to the Crawfish Shack because it is purely that, crawfish. They branch out and they have other wonderful recipes. They want that hot spice on their lips. They want to wash it down with something good and they can even wash it down here in Logansport. Ah, so cool. I've loved the food and I've loved talking to you, Keith. Thank you so much for <laughs> being here. Much. Congratulations on all your success. And look, everybody, if you want to pay a visit to the Crawfish Shack, you can do so by heading over to discoverdesoto.com for more information about this business. You can also call 318-872-1177. You can also find information on the state's Office of Tourism website, which is louisianatravel.com. Now look, don't go anywhere because coming up, when you plan your one tank trip out here to DeSoto Parish, there are are several lodging spots that will be happy to host you, such as this one. This is the Cook Hill House Bed and Breakfast. We'll show you to your room. Plus, learn about the important role DeSoto played in the Civil War. You're watching Great Day Louisiana's One Tank Trip to DeSoto Parish. We'll be right back. see my life have much value but maybe there is hope for me we stand together whether we're fighting fire or we get thrown into one let's go let's go you have a brother in me always a new fire country tonight on cbs and streaming on paramount plus I was riding my bike to work. A car hit me. They say they didn't see me. I hurt my back and fractured my hip. So I called Morris Bart and he got me $445,000. You know what to do and you know who to call. One call, that's all. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds. And checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, including ones you may miss, and alerts you if there's an issue. And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds. I know LifeLock has me covered. LifeLock. Identity theft protection starts here. Call the number on your screen or visit LifeLock.com 25 now and use promo code 25 now to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. Car wreck, demand, Dudley DeBosier. 93% of accident victims who used a lawyer said they'd do it again. If you've been injured, call us at Dudley DeBosier and find out what we can do for you. Demand Dudley DeBosier. Call 444-4444.
Seniors are overpaying for life insurance, sometimes more than twice the monthly rate of what they could be paying. If you've bought a guaranteed acceptance plan, please pay close attention. A 60-year-old male pays almost $90 a month for less than $11,000 in coverage with a guaranteed acceptance plan. But Senior Life Insurance Company qualified him for $11,000 in whole life protection for less than $48 a month. That cut his monthly life insurance rate in half and saved him him over $500 a year. A 75-year-old female could save over $50 a month for more coverage by switching to Senior Life. That's a savings of over $600 a year. Call Senior Life now to compare your current policy and see how we could save you hundreds of dollars a year on your life insurance. We might even be able to help you get money back on your current overpriced policy. Stop overpaying for your life insurance. Call Senior Life Insurance Company now for your free quote. Whenever I meet with someone that's been through a serious incident, it's, it's not an easy process. But what we do at Delhi DeBosier is that we sit down with them and help them navigate the future. What's the best thing somebody can say about Delhi DeBosier is that I counted on them, I trusted them, and they did right by me. Welcome back, everybody. If you're just joining us, Great Day Louisiana is on a one tank trip to DeSoto Parish today. We are south of Shreveport, right at the Texas state line. As many of you know, Louisiana was the battleground of several wars that helped shape this country. Where I'm taking you all now was a place of civil war unrest, where the Confederates achieved victory against Union invaders. This is the Mansfield State Historic Site. And joining now for a conversation is Mr. Aaron Gates. He's an interpreter here at the wonderful historic site. Hello, my good sir. Good morning, how you doing? I am doing good. Thank you so much for having oh, us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yes, as you all can see, there is a lot of history being told here at this historic site. We're actually right now at you all's museum. Yes, but first, sir. let's go all the way back, Aaron. What happened on April 8th, 1864? Well, what happened on April 8th is the Battle of Mansfield. This is where the Union Army met the Confederates in battle. Now, the Union Army, they, at this point in the war, were occupying southeast Louisiana, and they were trying to get a foothold in Shreveport and ultimately Texas. Texas had been a thorn in the, so in the Union side for most of the war, and so this was all part of a big, big plan to take Shreveport and finally get a foothold in Texas. And all their plans kind of got dashed right here at Mansfield, where they found the Confederates waiting for them in battle. And it's an interesting battle, everybody. It was between Nathaniel Banks and Richard Taylor. Obviously, like I mentioned, the Confederates won victory. Yes. And you can actually see lots of the history being told here at the historic site. We're inside right now, but let's talk about outside, right? Sure. I was reading that this place actually became a part of the National Register in 1973. Congratulations on that. When we're walking around the grounds, what types of things can we see? Well, we, what you're going to see outside is you're going to see, go on the, if you're going on the nature trail, you're going to see a reproduction split rail fence. There's a historical marker back there. So what you're really seeing is the grounds where this is happening. You're trying to visualize just where these men fought and where some of them actually died at wow. fighting for their causes. So uh, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see if you're into nature, there's gonna be some opportunities to see nature out there. We have several species of birds out here and other animals. We have the monuments that are by the roadside that are uh, some of the uh, leadership that was here at the battle. Mm, so a lot to read and a lot to see outside, everybody. And when you're ready for some AC, come on inside to yes. check out this amazing museum obviously there's so much to see here everybody this cannon right here super cool what are some of the highlights that people must see when they walk around this well, museum? when you walk around the museum one of the things we usually start everybody with a 10 minute introductory video so you'll want to see the video this will kind of give you some background on the battle who was here why it was here why this even happened in the first place then you're gonna come in here to the main wing of the museum you definitely want to start off with this cannon here because this was one of the this was a rare Southern May can. Now most of the most of the Confederates did not make their own artillery. So this is actually a rare example of a Confederate Southern made cannon from Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. Uh, there were only six in this production lot and only two still exist today, this being one of them. It's so cool. And you know, walking around, everybody learn about other battles as well. The Battle of Pleasant Hill is Battle also featured Hill. right yes. here. But there's a surgery scene, everybody. Close your eyes if you don't like blood. A very interesting display. Why did you all choose to add this to the museum? Because it was important to see what happens after the battle, just to show 
you know what the after effects of it are and you know what happened to some of these men who were injured you know medicine back then was very different than it is today it was gr it was gruesome a lot of the time you know the amputation was not an uncommon part of the Civil War battlefield that was a very common part of it is it we want people to see just how bloody something how bloody just battles and wars can be absolutely there's a lot of military history everybody you have to come and check out this Mansfield State Historic Site you all do tours you all do musket demonstrations and you all do a cool Halloween event where yes. they take you around the site yes. with candlelights everybody spooky amazing <laughs> Aaron thank you so much for thank joining you. us today My pleasure. love being here everybody look if you want to come and check out the Mansfield State Historic Site you can do so by going to discover this hotel you can also call 318-872-1177. This information is also available on the state's tourism website, which is louisianatravel.com. Now look, everybody, stay right there because we have a lot coming up on our one tank trip to DeSoto Parish. After the break, we're taking you to Cousins Cajun Market, where you can pick up late lunches, dinner, and a number of specialty meats. Don't touch that remote, everybody. You're watching Great Day Louisiana's one tank trip to DeSoto Parish. What are you talking about? Over a billion. Over a billion? That's how much money Morris Park has won for his clients. I'm Morris Park. If you've been injured in a car wreck, you know what to do. One click. That's it. If you are 18 or older and or you have a child 12 or older and would like to earn $955, please listen closely. A research study is underway in your area to evaluate a COVID vaccine booster in adults and also children 12 and older. To qualify, adults need the primary series of vaccines, plus at least one booster. Children only need the primary series. Visit NOLAVaccine.com or call now, 504-389-4747. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds. And checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, including ones you may miss, and alerts you if there's an issue. And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds. I know LifeLock has me covered. LifeLock. Identity theft protection starts here. Call the number on your screen or visit lifelock.com slash 25 now and use promo code 25 now to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. Oh yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to castnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. Before you demand Dudley DeBosier, here's something you need to know. We're huggers, but we all have our own style. So I'm still partial to the grip and rip bro hug. Bring it in, sugar. Me? Come on. I'll go for the full Papa Grizzly every time. Oh, is that all you got? And I'm always ready to greet him with the very respectful church side hug. But hugging is a two-way street, and we always adapt to your preference. That's the Dudley DeBosier difference. 444-4444. Four, 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 four. Welcome back to Great Day Louisiana's One Tank Trip to DeSoto Parish. It's time for another food stop. This time we are in Stonewall, Louisiana to try Cousins Cajun Market. Their motto is, we feed you like family. And here you can grab a plate lunch and so much more at their market. Join me now for a conversation. It's Mr. Douglas Champion. He is one of the co-owners of this fabulous place. Hello, my good sir. How are you doing? Doing good. Am I a cousin now? Yes, you are. I love it, yes. Thank you so much for having us here today congratulations you all are three years into this restaurant game and i gotta ask you where does the name come from so um it was actually started 
probably three and a half years ago, me and two of my cousins from South Louisiana got together. I'd had a dream of always opening a restaurant in Stonewall. I love to cook. We all were, you know, our family, that was it. We cooked and socialized and had a good time. So I just kind of wanted to bring a little taste of that to this community. Yeah, and your so, mother's from South Louisiana, yeah. and you said, I got to bring it up north, yeah. and you're clearly doing it with all of these dishes, yeah. everybody. Yeah. First, I've got to start with this etouffee. Tell me about this etouffee. So this is a family recipe here. Hey, uh, family. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and, it, and it's it's all made from scratch there's no can anything in there so the crawfish is amazing we love a good portion and it comes with a side and a roll as well correct, correct. delicious everybody now we know up here the meat pie is something special yeah, you all do a crawfish meat pie tell me about it so yeah there's a crawfish meat pie also and it the, the funny thing behind the meat pies is they're, they're Natchitoches meat pies, and uh, that's where I'm originally from, is Natchitoches. Mm -hmm. so. Delicious, and you do two types of boudin balls as well? Yeah, we do a pepper jack, and we also do just a regular. This so. meat pie is everything, everybody. <laughs> and if you're not in the mood for seafood, you all do a chicken sandwich. Correct. You all are in on the chicken sandwich game. Yeah. Okay, yeah, tell me about your chicken on. sandwich. So it's, it's done with a... Uh, a, a special batter that we've, we've made in-house. Uh, what is this sauce? We, it's a cousin sauce, so... Mm -hmm. And we, mm -hmm. we dress it with a cousin sauce and a pickle, so... This is hand-fried, okay? Yeah. Delicious, hand-battered, I should say. Yeah. You also have fajitas? Correct. Yummy, and yeah. what is this over here? So that's our Cajun pasta. That's a dish we do on Tuesdays, so... Uh, it's so good, my yeah. good sir. My goodness, the flavor here is insane. And what's cool is that you all have a market as well. You often see it behind me. Yeah. Tell me about some of your offerings in the market. So everything we do, we do uh, hand-cut steaks or ribeyes or hand-cut. So uh, we do that. We do a stuffed pork loin, stuffed chicken breast. Ooh. We have our own boudin too also. We, uh, I see gumbo in we there do, as We do well. gumbo. We do shrimp and corn chowder. So many different yeah. things. We have I a mean, lot of different options, a lot of take-and-go options. Yeah. Yes, uh, and you everybody can also take your seasonings, right? Correct. We have our seasoned fish fry, sauce, hot sauce, stuff like that. So. You all, the food is amazing. I have to end with the crackling. Tell yeah. me about the crackling. So the cracklings, that's something we started about uh, <laughs> less than a year ago. And so uh, it's, it's caught on. Everybody was requesting them, so we, we said we'd start doing it. So. It is amazing. You are making your mom proud. You're also <laughs> making your grandmother proud, <laughs> who is the cornerstone of this Correct. amazing place. Correct. Douglas, the food is amazing. Thank Congratulations Thank on you. everything. Thank, Thank you so much for having us yeah. here. And look, everybody, if you want more information about this amazing place, you can head over to the DeSoto Parish Tourist Commission website at discoverdesoto.com or call the number on your screen. The information is also available on the state's tour and website, which is louisianatravel.com. Now look, everybody, stay right there because now that my belly is full, it is time to check in and relax. There are some bed and breakfast options here in DeSoto Parish. We'll check out the amenities at Cook Hill House when we come back. Stick with us here watching Great Day, Louisiana. It was a nice day, so I decided to take my bike out for a ride. The driver was texting and ran right into me. I went straight to the hospital. I called Moore's Bart, and he got me $230,000. You know what to do, and you know who to call. One call, that's all. There's a new victim of identity theft every three seconds, and checking your credit score or bank statements may not be enough to alert you. That's because identity threats appear in more places than you realize. Identity thieves can use your information to open loans, transfer home titles, even commit crimes. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. LifeLock monitors for threats to your identity, including ones you may miss, and alerts you if there's an issue. 
And if you're a victim, your dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. All plans backed by LifeLock's million-dollar protection package, including reimbursement for stolen funds. I know LifeLock has me covered. LifeLock. Identity theft protection starts here. Call the number on your screen or visit lifelock.com slash 25 now and use promo code 25 now to save 25% on your first year of identity theft protection. Enroll now. If you're at home and you're hurt, I had to pick up the phone and call Deli Devotion. Simply put, they're genuine, they care about people's lives, they care about people's well-being, and they're going to make you feel like you're the most important client. They will take very good care of you. That's the Deli Devotion difference. What sets inclusive care apart from other providers? We help the community stay healthy with our low-cost health care, mobile dental, and women's health services, as well as low-cost prescriptions for everyone. I'm a single mom, and I didn't have any insurance. Inclusive care helped me sign up for insurance and provided me with top-notch health care. I was thrilled by the care I received at Inclusive Care. They explain everything and put together a personalized treatment plan. Inclusive care, health care for all. What should we do? I'm going to cashnetusa.com. I can apply in minutes, and if approved, we can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. The, the day that I chose to call Dudley DeBosier, I immediately felt at ease because they promised me that they would take care of everything. And the main thing that they told me was worry about you and getting better, and we're going to handle everything else. Grand Cane are loving, caring, and very, um, I call them super intelligent. We have a very educated po population, and uh, we all work together to accomplish what we've accomplished. Starting on the south end, we have what we call the village cuisine, and that's like a ladies' tea room, really. The owner of it happens to be one of my town council members, and uh, she is known for her gourmet cooking, and uh, we have Tea Times, which she hosts the high tea for us, and that's quite a ladies' uh, fun time, fun time. But she's open three days a week and uh, noon time, and uh, once a month she usually has a steak night on a Thursday for everybody. 4C Coffee Shop, the building was our old post office, and uh, it didn't have a floor in it, so we had to get busy and put a floor in it when the young lady said she'd like to do a coffee shop. So we got it fixed up for her, and you can get any kind of flavored coffee you want with a sweet roll or some kind of pastry. But most of all, you get to visit with the neighbors because it is the gathering place. We have people from all over the parish that come just to drink coffee in Grand Cane and find out what's going on. We have a quilt lady. She's been in two of our buildings. But she finally got the big one where she could have her, her bit. we call him Bob. He's the quilter, the machine that quilts the quilt. And uh, she has ladies come in that take lessons. They make the quilt there, quilt it there. Or you can just go down and buy your material to make your own quilt. But she's been with us a good while and a very good patron for the town, very good. Double B, they have nutritional drinks where you can get your energy kick or just a refreshing, cool drink. I keep my great-grandchildren and they like the candy cane drink. Now, I can't imagine why, but they do. I personally like the lemonade. We have unique, funny little things in our town, but we like it like it is. We like it like it is. Now, after you do some exploring of Grand Cane and the Soto Parish, you're eventually gonna need a place to relax. Am I right? Well, look, everybody, as you all have seen, we've been traveling all day, and what if I told you there was a bed and breakfast right here in Grand Cane that is walking distance from so many of the shops? And guess what, everybody? We are checking in, and look, everybody, I have company. Hi, darling, who are you? Hi, I'm Kathleen Davis. I'm the innkeeper here at the Cook Hill House Bed and Breakfast. Ooh. 
pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you for Thank having you. us, Kathleen. And wow, 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 this house is beautiful. Tell me a little bit of the history. Well, the house was built in the 1850s. It was um, donated to the Historical Association of Grand Cane in 2000. And we've had the bed and breakfast here for some time. So it's, it's been a unique place for people to come and relax. Yes, I love it. Well, look, I see the country charm just outside, but a little birdie told me that there's some country charm on the inside as well. Are you ready to head inside? I am ready. All right, come well, on, let's, let's go, go, everybody. Right through the front door. Come on. Oh, Kathleen, it is beautiful in here. I am so excited to see everything. It feels good in here, number one. Right now, we're standing in one of the sitting rooms. Yes. And I gotta ask you about the rooms because okay. every room actually has a theme. Let's start downstairs. What's the downstairs okay, room? Our downstairs room is called the Nature Room. It's actually uh, more of our handicapped people's room. It has a walk-in shower to it. And um, they have access to the kitchen and everything, so it's a lot easier for them. The other Upstairs, we have two king-size rooms. One of them is called the Rose Room. It's, it's pink, but it's a beautiful room. And then we have the Magnolia Room, which expresses itself once you walk through the door. Ooh. And then we have a porch room that is a blue room. And um, actually, it's probably one of the most comfortable rooms. It's a queen-size room. Ooh, that's the one I'm going to be staying in, everybody. That's the one I want. It is beautiful. The furniture in here is also gorgeous. Thank is you. the furniture antique? It is. All of the furniture in here is antique furniture. Um, it's been donated by different families through the years. And um, it's just it's just made the place come to life. Yeah, and everybody, when you're not in your room, like I mentioned, there are multiple rooms that you can actually be in. We're in the sitting room right now, but there's a music room as we well. We have a music room. It has an organ in there, um, and it's a it's a nice sitting room too. And um, it, it's just. It just shows its own personality. Yeah, it's so cool. And like we mentioned at the top of this wonderful interview, everybody, when I met Kathleen outside, this is a bed and breakfast. And Kathleen is making the breakfast. Yeah. What is like your favorite thing to make? And what's the one that everyone is like, oh, Kathleen's oh, eggs wow. are so good. The, the ones that I like to make are the eggs, the grits. Um, I make my grits a different way. They have like a twist to them. They're more savory. Mm. And um, the scrambled eggs, I also do pancakes. I also do uh, cinnamon rolls. And it's just a variety of different things. We have uh, breakfast casseroles that we serve to. Yum, she a is variety. a woman of many hats, everybody. <laughs> it is amazing what you all are doing here at the Cook Hill House Bed and Breakfast. The breakfast is an add-on, everybody, so you don't necessarily have to choose the breakfast when you come and stay here at the Cook Hill House. But one one thing you definitely want to do when you come here is, of course, relax, but you can also throw a party here. You all host oh, events. Oh, yeah. We have parties here. We have um, uh, family reunions have been a really big thing mm. this last year. We, we had a bunch of family reunions. We just had one this past weekend. We also have, we've been doing bingo night, and we've had a dinner night here, two dinner nights. And so Bridal we're gradually showers. working into it. I love it so much. And what does the future of the Cook Hill House Bed and Breakfast look like? Because you all are working on some things. Oh, our future, our future. We're, we're trying to do a wedding venue. Oh. Yeah, because you have an outside space as well. We have Gorgeous. a great outdoor space. We're um, hoping to have uh, our pergola up by summertime so that we can do weddings. And um, there's just a lot of different things that are going to be done that will make this place even more special and unique. Well, look, I cannot wait to stay here, everybody, and I can't wait to try your food. Kathleen, uh, thank you, you so much for joining it. us today. <laughs> Ooh, you all had such a great time exploring the Soto Parish today. We want to send a special shout out to all of the businesses we featured on today's show. We also want to send a special shout out to the Louisiana Office of Tourism, as well as the DeSoto Parish Tourism Commission for helping us out with today's show. Now look, everybody, as you all can see, we've been exploring this parish all hour long. And look, I am ready to take a nap in this room. Look, thank you all so much for watching. Until then, I'm Malik Mingo. Make it a great day, Louisiana. And of course, happy traveling. See you all next time. Bye-bye.